Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24-7 and today we're going to be talking about how to automate your Shopify dropshipping business. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get into it. So first thing you want to know obviously how to do is automating your orders from your Shopify store to AliExpress. So the one app you're going to need to be able to do this is Oberlo. So today we're going to be going through the process of how to utilize Oberlo to fully automate your Shopify dropshipping stores. So obviously with Oberlo, what's going to pop up here when you have your orders come in is a order all products button. It's going to pop up with the order from your customer. As you can see here for the example, the customer uh, name is there and then the country and the order number pops up as well for Oberlo. Uh, so the tracking code isn't in there yet because you haven't placed the order, but basically this is what pops up when you have an order ready for you on Oberlo because one came in through your Shopify store. So how exactly do you get that set up? Well, how does this all work? So this allows you to click one button and automatically puts in the customer data to place your order. So basically you just click order all products. It goes through it. There's a um, automated system on Oberlo. So you, all you have to do is click that button. It goes through on your computer, uh, it puts in all the information and you just basically let your computer run uh, with, the, with the software that they have. And it goes through, puts all the customer information in and completes the order. So all, like I said, all you have to do is click that button there and it also gives you a nice list of uh, customer orders in order to keep track because Shopify is a little bit confusing because you have to click on every single different order that comes in. Whereas Oberlo, it, it shows you the orders. You can search customer names really easy. Like I just really en uh, enjoy and like the way that the Oberlo uh, dashboard is to be able to have an easy customer order list to keep track of what has actually went through, like what shipped out from the manufacturer. It just makes things a lot simpler to track and make sure that your customers are getting their products. And if they ever email you and like, hey, did my product ship out? You can just check the Oberlo dashboard. It's a lot easier for you than going through AliExpress and going through Shopify because then you have to try and see, wait, which order was this one? Because Oberlo pairs your AliExpress order to your Shopify order. So it makes it really, really simple. So how exactly do we get this for Shopify? Okay, so there's two things that you need to get and download in order to have the full Oberlo experience for your Shopify store to automate it, right? So you need the Oberlo app from the Shopify app store. That is the first thing you need to download and get for your Shopify store. Then you also need the Oberlo Chrome plugin. So you need to get the Chrome web browser, the uh, instead of maybe Internet Explorer or something like that, you need Google Chrome. So download Google Chrome if you don't have that already. Then you get the Oberlo Chrome plugin, which is on the Chrome App Store, uh, which you could just Google Chrome or Oberlo Chrome plugin and it should pop up. And on the app, it should actually give you a prompt to install this as well. But in case it doesn't, go to the Chrome Web Store and then you're going to download, as you can see in the title, Oberlo AliExpress.com product importer. So you need both of these things in order for it to work 100% and properly. Like I said, Shopify app and the Chrome plugin here. You need both of those from Oberlo. So now the next question a lot of people ask is, well, what if I already have products in my store? What if I've already been setting things up, right? And I, I want to try and figure out how to automate it. So if you already have your products, the downside to using Oberlo is you need to delete your products or take them off your store because the thing is, it's not going to work properly unless you do it from Oberlo and importing them through the Oberlo system. Because if you don't import your products through the Oberlo system, it's not going to work right. So you need to delete all the products that you already have if you have if you don't have Oberlo already. Uh, so if, like I said, if you already have products, you got to delete them and do them all through Oberlo. You have to import them for them to be automated. You have to import them all through the Oberlo app so that Oberlo then has each product in their system. Because if you didn't start with Oberlo and you didn't import them all through Oberlo, they're not going to have your products in their system and it's not going to work right if someone goes and places an order. So what I would recommend to do, just delete everything that you already had, just redo it through Oberlo. It's, you could save the descriptions and stuff like that, like copy paste it into a Word document. So at least you know the work you put into that, you can save uh, but if you're going to be st starting to try and automate, you got to do it all through Oberlo. Um, it's going to be pretty easy too. It's pretty quick to do it through there. So it's not exactly the biggest hassle, uh, but we're going to get into exactly how to import your products now. So for importing your products, let's say you go on AliExpress.com, right? You're trying to sell these little squishy uh, keychain things or something like that. I don't know. It's just a trendy product that I've seen on some stores. 
And so say, for example, maybe uh, this coffee cup uh, panda box thing or I don't know. I mean, this is just an example. So while you're on AliExpress.com, these boxes will then show up around products. As you can see, the green boxes that shows that it has e-packet shipping, which is what you want. I talk a lot about this in my uh, shipping times video, if you haven't seen that one already. And the processing time, which processing time isn't as important. I would say just making sure that your products have e-packet and that the e-packet isn't too expensive or it's free. And then obviously you can see uh, the products. And then so when they have these green boxes, then when you mouse over the products on AliExpress, a blue Oberlo icon will appear. It should look like this. And you just click that uh, in order to import your products to the Oberlo dashboard. So the Oberlo dashboard will then save all of these. We're going to go into how to switch those then into your Shopify store in a second here. But with the Oberlo dashboard, you want to get all your products in there first. So get... Go on AliExpress, search through all the products you want to add to your store, click on the Oberlo blue button to add them all to your uh, Oberlo import list, and you'll have them all in there. So that's what you want to do first is go through AliExpress, pick out all your products, and then this is the next step. So importing your products from the Oberlo dashboard to Shopify, right? So in the Oberlo dashboard, this will appear for each product you have imported. It will come up with like this long, ridiculous AliExpress name. It'll come up with that like these random descriptions and variants and images so you want to go through every different tab here so you want to change the name to something that makes sense uh, that you want for your store you know make sure you keep a good amount of SEO in there but AliExpress puts in like ridiculous amounts of SEO keywords in their titles so that people find their products it's a little unnecessary and looks very weird if you had all the exact same title from AliExpress on your Shopify store website so I would just change the name to something that makes sense. Maybe delete like a bunch of the words and maybe just keep for this example, just essential oil diffuser uh, pack or something. Like, I don't know. You could do whatever you want. This is just an example. But and then you want to add your collection. So put it into the right collection. You want to change the description and then the variants and then maybe delete some of the images from there. Uh, the variants section, as you could see there, that that tab, that's where you change the pricing on there as well. So now if you mess up anything on here when you're trying to import it to Shopify, you can always go back and edit your titles, your descriptions and all that. It's really just the fact that the product is going from the Oberlo system to Shopify. It will then save that information there. So you can still edit you know, the products uh, on your Shopify store in your Shopify editor, you don't have to, because once you push it to shop, it's going to disappear from the Oberlo dashboard. So you can still edit your products on Shopify if you need if you need to change a title, change the description a little bit, add add like a uh, product badges thing for uh, checkout, like checkout badges. If you and if you need to add anything, you can still do that on Shopify. Uh, but the important part here is that you're putting the product through the Oberlo system. And then that's what's going to allow you to keep it automated and stuff like that. So when you're done editing what you wanna edit, at least for now, uh, then you just push them uh, to appear on your Shopify store. I, I recommend probably editing the titles, description stuff while you're on here. It's gonna make it easier for you, uh, just so you get it all done and then you push to your shop and you're ready to go. But like I said, you can still edit them on your actual Shopify store once they are in there. So that is pretty much the whole process for automating your drop drop shipping Shopify stores. Now, if you have not actually started your Shopify stores yet, I do have a 14 day free trial link down in the description box below. If you wanna support the channel, you go ahead and click that link in the description. And if you have not subscribed yet, what the heck are you doing? Hit that dang subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well so you get notified for your future videos, uploads, and all that good stuff. Leave a like, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. But anyway guys, that's all for today's video. So I will see you in the next one. Peace out.